IPC to decide Tinubu's participation in presidential debates. <laughs> the leadership of the ruling of Progressive Congress, APC, will take a decision on whether its presidential candidate, Shewe Jubola Tinubu, will participate in debate for the forthcoming presidential election slated for February 25th, 2023. The Nigeria Election Debate Group, NEDG, Nigerian Economic Summit Group, NECG, the Center for Democracy and Development, CDD, and other part partners had announced on Tuesday that they already outlined debate for the presidential candidates and their running mates. The Executive Secretary, NEDJ, Eddie, said the debate will be divided into four sessions, beginning in Abuja on November 15. The second leg comes up in Port Harcourt on December 15, while Lagos will hold the third leg on January 19, 2023. The final stage is built for Kano in February 2023. The organizers stressed that three of the four sessions will focus on the presidential candidates, while the remaining session to be held in Port Harcourt will be for the vice presidential candidate. The theme of the first debate in Abuja will hang on the economic, why the economy, why the exercise slated for Lagos would be on foreign policy, education, and security. Also, the news agency of Nigeria, NAN, said it has concluded arrangements with a global economic think tank to organize a series of presidential debates, which are set to debate on November 5, 2023, 2022. When asked if we participate in the debate, Festus Kayamo, San, chief spokesperson of the Tinubu Shetima Presidential Campaign Council and Minister of State, Labor and Employment, informed Daily Independent that the decision will be taken at a higher level of the party. On the issue of debate, that decision is not going to be taken by me alone. I can't stay here and give a, a comment or commitment. It will be some decision taken at a higher level, he said. When asked if Tinubu will grant interviews like other presidential candidates, Kayamu wondered why Nigerians are so particular about interviews when Tinubu is already speaking to Nigerians at rallies and gatherings such as the Ari World Summit held last week in Kaduna. The journalist Oseni Rafael, I beg your pardon, Oseni Rufai, one of the anchors of the Arise Morning Show on Arise News TV, had tweeted that having interviewed other presidential candidates such as Atiku Abubakar, Peter Obi, Rabiu, Musa Kwan Kwasu, and Omoyel Shawari, they eagerly await Tunubu's presence on the show. Why eagerly await the APC president, presidential candidate for an interview on Arise TV? We have heard Tunubu, we have heard Atiku, we have heard Kwan Kwachu, we have heard Shuere and others. We would think we would like to hear its idea for Nigeria and chat about them. When contacted, Kayamo wondered why some Nigerians are fixated on interviews when Tinubu is already addressing issues raised at events and rallies. Hmm, imagine. According to him, the most important thing is for Tinubu to speak to Nigerians, and he has been doing that. Ashwaji Tinubu has been speaking at rallies and gatherings. The most important thing is that he is speaking to Nigerians. What is all this Fission about sitting down in an interview. 
He's speaking everywhere he goes. Are they not seeing him? He is addressing issues. He is talking to Nigerians everywhere he goes, Kayamo said. Hmm. Mr. Kayamo, the speechless that that polit politicians make at the speeches that uh, politicians make at rallies are just noise making. But interviews at TV stations enable voters assess candidates better. You know this very well. But you are just being mischievous and trying hard to use this to get up there because your principal cannot do that. You understand what I mean. It is a new business. Hiding Tinubu is the name. Hmm. Anyone supporting Tinubu is simply blind and unreasonable. Very correct. APC is shading Tinubu. The same way they did Buhari. Hmm. Another disaster is awaiting to happen, but we can't but we can stop it. Anyone that does not attend the debate will not win my support. I don't want I wasn't the one that promised, but my spokesperson and no one will be able to hold him to his ways. True, the same thing played out during Buhari. No interview granted. Any presidential candidate who refused to show up will not be supported. He will be disqualified because you cannot hide under spokesperson to tell us what you you can do. You can do. Nigerians have right to know what is in your brain. Ask you questions about economy, your plans for us, and not Amala Iwedu and poison. Holy Communion among all the people in presidential race will be have the highest esteem and CV he will floor others with statistics. Okay, guys, these are some reactions by Nigerians. Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section.